This article is about the phonology of Egyptian Arabic, also known as Kyrene Arabic or Masri. It deals with the phonology and phonetics of Egyptian Arabic as well as the phonological development of child native speakers of the dialect. To varying degrees, it affects the pronunciation of literary Arabic by native Egyptian Arabic speakers, as is the case for speakers of all other varieties of Arabic. Phonemes. <laughs> <laughs> Consonants Traditionally, the interdental consonants, theta, eth, correspond to the Egyptian Arabic alveolar consonants, tdd. This is a feature common to some North African Arabic varieties and is attested in pre-modern words theta, greater than, t, talab, fox, from asterisk, theta alab, thlb and never, salab. Likewise, tall, ice from asterisk, theta al, te taman, price from asterisk, theta aman, the men tala ta, three from asterisk, theta ala theta, the laughed per mile hara t, plow from asterisk per mile hara theta, mayrathan, atar, tripped from asterisk a theta r, teeter, greater than, d, de l, tail from asterisk, agile, dial and never, zagile. Likewise, dakar, male from asterisk, akar, ducker, kitty, lied from asterisk, kaib, kdhb and db, wolf from asterisk, ib, Dib eth, greater than, d, d, ufr, nail, from asterisk, eth ufr, zeef and never, z ufr. Likewise, eth, greater than, d, d alma, darkness, from asterisk, eth ulma, zilpt. However, unlike other North African varieties, in Egyptian Arabic, the literary Arabic interdental consonants, theta, eth, may correspond to sibilant consonants, s, z, z. Theta, greater than, s, sora, revolution, as opposed to, theta a w r a, Thwart, greater than, z, iza a, broadcasting, as opposed to, ia a, adhad eth, greater than, z, baz r, clitoris, as opposed to, ba eth r, bazir classical Arabic reflex jim j asterisk, is realized as velar in Kyrene Egypt in the same way as it is in some southern Arabic dialects in Yemen. Thus, gabal jabal, mountain, is pronounced, even in literary Arabic as abel, rather than, d, abel. Other consonants are more marginal. In addition to appearing in native words, R also appears in loanwords from European languages, such as boat, parachute, and native words with guttural vowels, such as b, my cows, versus ba, cow-like. Labial emphatics b and per meter also come from loanwords. Minimal pairs include bia bia, patriarch, versus ba ba, paupi. Classical Arabic asterisk q became in Cairo, a feature shared with Lebanese and other forms of Levantine Arabic, but Q is retained natively in some dialects to the west of the Nile Delta, outside of Alexandria, and has been reintroduced as a marginal phoneme from Standard Arabic, particularly relating to certain religious words and those deriving from the root TQF, relating to culture. In mildly careful speech, Q is used to distinguish between words that would otherwise be identical. For example, kanon may be either q nu n law or ash nu n kanun. Qui may be either qui strong or aui very, although aui could be used for both meanings. V, p, and also appear in loanwords such as ash kete, ash ket jacket. Topic: <laughs> allophones. Pharyngeal consonants. The sequence is more commonly pronounced, especially outside of careful speech. For example, opened it feminine, f ash tei, f ash tei. The sequence, h, is more commonly pronounced, or sometimes, especially outside of careful speech. For example, bitaha, hers, bt ash ash, or b tei. The sequence, is more commonly pronounced. For example, mamanti, didn't montage, may main tei. Topic. Assimilation N, before, B Often, the sequence of NB assimilates to MB. Examples, ZANB, guilt, zame, anbu ba, tube, ambu bay, il linbi, alanbi, el lembi. Sibilant consonants before The sequences S and S are more commonly pronounced SS, especially outside of careful speech. For example, mabas didn't kiss m ash base. The sequences z and z are more commonly pronounced ss. 
For example, Mabaz, wasn't corrupt MBs, voicing and devoicing for some speakers, there is a voicing and devoicing assimilation for the following consonants. Voiced, T, D, S, Z, S, Z, K, X, F, V, T, D. Devoiced, D, T, Z, S, Z, S, K, X, V, F. When the input consonants differ only in voicing, the resultant assimilation will be complete. Examples on voicing assimilation, laxbat, he, it confused, pount, jizba, outrun, jesby, ma bu h, suspected, m ash bu h, laughs, utter, lives, m i t da g, annoyed, med d ash j, a complete assimilation. Examples of devoicing assimilation, mo tama, society, mok timai, jistafa, ask forgiveness, of god, jiz txf, xadt, took, zat, t, a complete assimilation. Topic. Vowels The Egyptian Arabic vocalic system has changed from the classical system. The system of vowels is as follows Like Maghrebi Arabic dialects, the higher vowels tend to be more centralized in emphatic environment. The classical Arabic phonemes, a, and a, are in the process of splitting into two phonemes each, resulting in the four Egyptian Arabic phonemes, a ash, the front and back variants alternate in verbal and nominal paradigms in ways that are largely predictable, but the back variants occur unpredictably in some lexical stems, especially those of European language origin. This is discussed more below. Vowels e and o are often regarded as allophones of the vowels i and u, respectively, instead of constituting separate vowel phonemes, so they cannot form minimal pairs. For further discussion regarding vowel allophony in Egyptian Arabic, see Georgiou 2018. E and O are derived from the classical Arabic diphthongs, A J, and A, respectively, when occurring in closed syllables, i.e., not followed by a vowel. Note that the diphthongs, A J, and A, also occur in the same environment, due to later deletion of unstressed vowels and resulting contraction, e.g., mudala, mo deulai consultation from classical asterisk, mudawala. Minimal pairs such as ila, eli carrying fem, sg, and ila, ile burden also occur. Both of these words are derived from asterisk, a jila, ila, is the phonologically regular outcome, while ila, is an analogical reformation based on the corresponding participial form, kacha, of other verbs of the same class. Egyptian Arabic maintains in all positions the early post-classical distinctions between short, i, and, u, contrast, for example, Levantine Arabic dialects, which merge, i, and, u, into, in most positions, and Moroccan Arabic, which merges, i, and, a, into, in all positions. In particular, note the different shapes and vowel distinctions between kt b book and o m ash l beautiful place versus e m ash l camels and x t he chose. In most Levantine dialects, all the short vowels in these words are elided, leading to the identical shapes k t a b ma l x t a r. An epithetic vowel is automatically inserted after the second of three or more consonants in a cluster to break up such clusters. The epithetic vowel is e, the same as i, but it remains e even when i surfaces as i, leading to minimal pairs. Bintamila, benta ash mi le, a beautiful girl. Binti amila, benti ash mi le, my girl is beautiful. Topic: <laughs> Emphasis spreading. Many spoken Arabic varieties have developed two allophones of the classical Arabic vowels, a, and, a, with fronted allophones a -ash occurring in most circumstances, but backed allophones, occurring in the vicinity of emphatic consonants. This process is known as emphasis spreading. The exact criteria of both vicinity and emphatic consonant varies depending on the individual speech variety. In Egyptian Arabic, the occurrence of is no longer completely predictable, suggesting that these sounds have become phonicized, but see below for more discussion. In Egyptian Arabic, the consonants that trigger emphasis spreading include the pharyngealized consonants, tdsz, the uvular stop, q, and some instances of, r, see below. On the other hand, the pharyngeal consonants, h, do not trigger emphasis spreading. In the standard Kyrene dialect, the velar fricatives, x, also do not, although this is different in many Saidi dialects in which they are uvular. In general, when emphasis spreading is triggered, the back variants, 
spread both forward and backward throughout the phonological word, including any morphological prefixes, suffixes and clitics. Note that this is different from many other Arabic varieties. For example, in Moroccan Arabic, emphasis spreading usually travels no farther than the first full vowel on either side of the triggering consonant, and in many varieties of Levantine Arabic, emphasis spreading is of indefinite extent but is blocked by the phonemes, j. Nevertheless, emphasis spreading is not completely reliable, and there is some free variation, especially in the pronunciation of prefixes and suffixes at some distance from the triggering consonant. Some instances of r trigger emphasis spreading, while others do not. Originally, an r adjacent to i was considered non-emphatic, while others were emphatic and triggered emphasis spreading. Currently, however, this is no more than a rough guideline, as many exceptions have since developed. This situation has led many linguists to postulate the existence of two phonemes, rr, which both surface as r tilde, but where only r triggers emphasis spreading. This analysis is not completely ideal in that these two resulting phonemes. RR, alternate to a large extent often unpredictably in related forms derived from the same root. Currently, to the extent that the emphatic or non-emphatic variant of R can be predicted, it works as follows, if R is adjacent to a vowel, I, emphasis spreading is inhibited, otherwise, it occurs. The R is able to see across derivational but not inflectional morphemes. As an example, te commerce and tekebi you grow mask, both have emphasis spreading, since r occurs adjacent to lo, a, but not adjacent to any non-low front vowel. On the other hand, of the derived forms te ash i commercial and tek b you grow fem, only the latter has emphasis spreading. In this case, the derivational suffix, i, related to, creates a new lexical item in the language's vocabulary, and hence the stem is re-evaluated for emphasis, with the non-low front vowel, i, triggering non-emphatic, r, but the inflectional suffix, i, marking feminine singular does not create a new lexical item, and as a result the emphasis in the stem remains. For these purposes, past and non-past forms of a verb are considered separate stems, hence alternations can occur like, istamar r, he continued, versus, jistamir, he continues. An emphasis spreading, r, is usually adjacent to a low vowel, a, which in turn is back to, but that is not necessary, and, u, also triggers emphasis spreading, examples, mahu r, famous, m hu, mar u, project, m ru, r ufaja, thin, r o f j j. The alternation between a and is almost completely predictable in verbal and nominal paradigms, as well as in the large majority of words derived from classical Arabic. It is also irrelevant for the operation of the numerous phonological adjustment rules e.g. vowel lengthening, shortening and elision in Egyptian Arabic. As a result, linguistic descriptions tend to subsume both under an archiphoneme, a. On the other hand, there are a number of lexical items in which autonomous tend to occur irrespective of the presence of emphatic consonants. A few are in Arabic-derived words, e.g. midge water, but the majority are in words of foreign origin especially those derived from European languages, where, echo the vowel quality of, a, in those languages. Different authors have proposed differing phonemic analyses of this situation. Some go ahead and treat all occurrences of, a, as separate phonemes, despite the additional complexity of the resulting morphological descriptions. Some treat only, autonomous, occurrences of, as phonemes, with all the rest subsumed under, a, some have created new emphatic consonants e.g. analyzing midge as per meter ajja, where underlying per meter, surfaces as m but triggers the back allophone. Some have ignored the distinction entirely, the approach followed here is to ignore the distinction in phonemic descriptions, subsuming a as allophones of a, but where necessary to also include a phonetic explication i.e. detailed pronunciation that indicates the exact quality of all vowels. Generally, these phonetic explications are given for the examples in the section on phonology, and elsewhere whenever autonomous occurs. Topic: <laughs> Phonological processes. Topic: <laughs> Vowel shortening. 
All long vowels are shortened when followed by two consonants including geminated consonants, and also in unstressed syllables, though they are but sometimes kept long in careful speech pronunciations of loanwords, as in qa hira, cairo and a few other borrowings from classical Arabic with similar shapes, such as zia hira, phenomenon. Long vowel i, u, when shortened collapse with e, o, which are, as well, the shortened form of e, o. As a result, the following three words are only distinguished contextually. Ibna, ebne, cheese. I, b, plus, na, ibna, ebne, we brought. E, b, plus, na, ebna, ebne, our pocket. Topic. Vowel lengthening. Final short vowels are lengthened when the stress is brought forward onto them as a result of the addition of a suffix. Topic: <inaudible> Vowel deletion, syncope. Unstressed i and u are deleted, i.e. syncope, when occurring in the context vc vc v, i.e. in an internal syllable with a single consonant on both sides. This also applies across word boundaries in cases of close syntactic connection. Topic: <inaudible> Vowel insertion, apenthesis. Three or more consonants are never allowed to appear together, including across a word boundary. When such a situation would occur, an epenthetic e is inserted between the second and third consonants. Vowel elision and linking Unlike in most Arabic dialects, Egyptian Arabic has many words that logically begin with a vowel e ana, I, in addition to words that logically begin with a glottal stop e awi, vary, from classical, qawij j, strong. When pronounced in isolation, both types of words will be sounded with an initial glottal stop. However, when following another word, words beginning with a vowel will often follow smoothly after the previous word, while words beginning with a glottal stop will always have the glottal stop sounded, e.g. il walad amar, el wil ash dhm or el welad hm the boy is red inta kibi r awi, inta kbi r awi, intak by aui you mask, sg, are very big the phonetic pronunciations indicated above also demonstrate the phenomenon of linking, a normal process in Egyptian Arabic where syllable boundaries are adjusted across word boundaries to ensure that every syllable begins with exactly one consonant. Elision of vowels often occurs across word boundaries when a word ending with a vowel is followed by a word beginning with a vowel, especially when the two vowels are the same, or when one is, I. More specifically, elision occurs in the following circumstances. When both vowels are the same, one will be elided. When final, I, is followed by initial, A, I, is elided. When any vowel is followed by initial, I, I, is elided. Topic. Multiple processes Multiple processes often apply simultaneously. An example of both insertion and deletion working together comes from the phrase, il bint kibi ra, the girl is grown up. Example of insertion and deletion together Underlying representation, il bint kibi ra Apenthesis in ccc sequence, asterisk, il bintakibi ra Deletion of i vc vc v il bintek by ra. Surface realization l ben dot tech by re. Compare il will add kibi r. The boy is grown up, where neither process applies. Similarly, an example of both deletion and long vowel shortening appears in the phrase s a hiba friend fem. Underlying representation s a hiba. Deletion of i in vc vc v asterisk s a hba. Vowel shortening in VCC, SOB plus A. Surface realization, SHB, compare with classical Arabic, S Ahiba. The operation of the various processes can often produce ambiguity. Ana a wiz a kul, ana a za kul, I mask, want to eat. Ana a wiz a kul, ana a za a kul, ana a za kul, I fem, want to eat, hence, inai a z ash kol is ambiguous in regards to grammatical gender. Topic. Phonotactics <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: <inaudible> Syllable structure. Egyptian Arabic has the following five syllable types: CV, CV, CVC, CVC, and CVCC. CV, CVC, and CVCC are long or heavy syllables. Long syllables bear primary stress, and there is only one stressed syllable per word. Egyptian Arabic has a strong preference for heavy syllables, and various phonetic adjustments conspire to modify the surface pronunciation of connected speech towards the ideal of consisting entirely of heavy syllables. Examples can be seen below. Shortening of long vowels to avoid super-heavy syllables CVC, CVCVC, CV. Lengthening of short vowels to avoid light stressed syllables CV, 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 or the increasingly rarer cases CV, CVC, CV, CVC, or avoiding heavy syllables and converting them into super heavy syllables CVC, CVC. Elision of short vowels to avoid sequences of light syllables CV, 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 CV. Insertion of short vowels to avoid three consonant sequences, which would result in a super heavy syllable CVCC, CV or CVC, CCV, CVC, CV, CV. Movement of syllable boundaries across word boundaries to avoid vowel initial syllables CVC, VC, VC, CV, CV, CVC. Insertion of a glottal stop when necessary to avoid vowel initial syllables. An example of these various processes together. In the following and similar analyses, the normal form pronunciation is given as the phonetic equivalent of the given phonemic form, although the intermediate steps may be given if necessary for clarity. Other examples include, Anna a was a kul, I want to eat, Inai au z ash kol, Anna a was a kul u, I want to eat it, Inai au zaklu, and, Hama a was plus i n ya kul plus u, they want to eat it, Hame au z n jake lu. Topic Prosody Topic Stress The position of stress is essentially automatic. The basic rule is that, proceeding from right to left in a word from the end to the beginning of the word, the stress goes on the first encountered syllable of any of these types. One. A heavy syllable, that is, a syllable ending in either a long vowel CV or one or two consonants CVC, CVCC, two. A non-final light syllable that directly follows a heavy syllable 3. A non-final light syllable that directly follows two light syllables i.e. less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 CV 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 4. The first syllable of the word because the stress is almost completely predictable, it is not indicated in phonemic transcriptions but is given in the corresponding phonetic explication. Phonological development Phonemic developmental stages Omar 1973 identifies three stages in the phonological acquisition of Egyptian Arabic, ending with completion of the consonant inventory with the possible exception of Q, at approximately age 5. Babbling stage, approximately 6 to 10 months. The sound inventory found in the babbling stage does not technically consist of phonemes, but rather vowel and consonant-like sounds. Therefore, they are not true speech sounds. Like children acquiring other world languages, Egyptian Arabic infants produce consonant-like sounds approximating b, p, h, v, z per meter, with j. Stage 1 approximately 1 to 2 years at this stage children have acquired the basic i, a, u, vowel triangle, and the consonants b per meter, with j, and h. At this stage, is only produced word initially possibly due to speaker's tendency to insert a glottal stop on words which begin with a vowel. There is typically no voiced voiceless contrast and no single double consonant contrast. Stage 2 approximately 2 to 3 years newly acquired phonemes are t, d, k, n, f, s, z, l, x, a, e, o. A voiced voiceless contrast is now apparent in stops and fricatives. 
Consonant clusters appear but are unstable, often being omitted or simplified consonant cluster reduction. The newly acquired lateral l is frequently used in place of the tap trill tilde r lateralization. Example: madasa school madlaza. Intermediate stage 2 3 approximately 3 to 5 years vowel length distinction the emphatics s z t d sometimes realized as and often realized as s are acquired a geminated consonant distinction is developing although children have difficulty with xx and its voiced pair phonemic stage 3 adult mastery approximately 5 years the tap trill Tilde r and all diphthongs and clusters are acquired, and geminate consonant distinction is stable. The phoneme q is rare in Egyptian Arabic and is typically only mastered with formal schooling at around age seven or eight, and is realized acceptably in the dialect as k. Topic: <laughs> Cross linguistic comparison and phonological processes. Egyptian Arabic phoneme acquisition has been chiefly compared to that of English. The order of phoneme acquisition is similar for both languages. Exceptions are s, z, and h, which appear earlier in Arabic speaking children's inventory than in English, perhaps due to the frequency of their occurrence in the children's input. Egyptian Arabic differs most from English in terms of age of phoneme acquisition. Vowel distinctions appear at an earlier age in Egyptian Arabic than in English, which could reflect both the smaller inventory and the higher functional value of Arabic vowels. The consonantal system, on the other hand, is completed almost a year later than that of English. However, the lateral, l, is acquired by most Arabic speaking children by age two, a year earlier than English speaking children. The most difficult phonemes for young Arabic children are emphatic stops, fricatives, and the tap, trill, tilde, r, x, and, which are relatively rare sounds in other languages, are the most difficult geminate consonants to acquire. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonological processes. For children under two, syllable reduction and final consonant deletion are the most common phonological processes. De-emphasis, involving the loss of the secondary articulation for emphatic consonants e.g., realizing emphatic, s, as s, may reflect the motoric difficulty of emphatic consonants, which are rare in world languages, as well as their relatively low frequency and functional load in Arabic. The back fricatives, h, and, x, are unusually accurate at an early age and less prone to fronting than in other languages. Topic. Acquisition of syllable structure Most children have mastered all syllable types between the ages of 2 and 3. A preference for three-syllable words is evident CVC syllables being the most frequently produced and production rarely exceeds four syllables. Simplification processes like those detailed above may occur to reduce CVCC syllables to CVC or CVC syllables, however, when children change the syllable structure, they preserve the prosodic weight of the altered syllable in order to maintain stress relations. <laughs> Notes <laughs>